Welcome to TalkersandGeeks.com. Justin here back with more manga reviews. And today we're going to be reviewing the manga Since I Could Die Tomorrow Volume 1. This is published by Tokyo Pop. And as always, I give you a brief synopsis. So without further ado, here we go. Sawako, 42, single. She works hard at a film production company. One night, all of a sudden, her heart gives her a little bit of issues. Her body goes cold. Could it be that she's going through menopause? Not as hardworking as you are in your 20s. Not as flippant as in your 30s. The mental and physical changes and the obstacles you face in your 40s. Sudden illness, menopause, fatigue, and you can't get rid of changes and working patterns. Money worries, life plans for the future. What will happen tomorrow? This is in the slice of life genre, and I really did enjoy this because this one really is definition of slice of life. Like, they really are going to give you what it means to be. I think what this book did very, very well for me and what worked for me was that it really gave you kind of that experience of what it means to be a woman in her 40s approaching her 40s or in her 40s and certain things that especially a single woman in her 40s especially the body changes that's happening like for for instance she's going through menopause she's still at a job that you know she's working and there's a lot of things that's happening like illnesses that's starting to come up it's something that i will say any otaku or someone who reads manga that's in a i will say upper Pushing 30, pushing 40, like, a.k.a. me, um, pushing 40 or in their 40s, your body actually does really start to show signs of like, all right, we're at 40. Let me have this hit. Let me hit, let this hit, and we're going to do this. We're going to do this and doing this. So it does a really great illustration of what it's like for, a, especially in a woman from a woman's perspective, of what it's like and things that's happening in her 40s so it's a really good i really enjoyed the story it's not i'll be honest it's not for everybody um the pacing is good but this is one of those stories that it's very surreal because in the way they address it is real like of course the menopause which is not not really heavily emphasized how much they talk about the menopause but there's situations in here like you know uh where the perspective changes they switch into a, a, another friend of hers you know who was a schoolmate and you know they're fretting about things like such as gray hair you know getting a new job at a particular age so it does really good of really kind of illustrating what life is as far as the art style goes i really did like the art style as well i think the art did a really good job of really kind of especially when it comes to that emotional aspect of conveying what it means especially in the facial expressions of our main character of what it means like oh my gosh when i'm going through metaphors or you know these certain health scares or frustrations with money woes and, and the job so they did a really good job of kind of it, it really is a slice of life that really encapsulates encapul <laughs> can't talk today really does a great job of captivating what it's like to be in your 40s and it's the changes of someone who's entering that real midlife, uh, not saying midlife crisis, not to say, but really entering kind of that midlife age of in your forties, but you're on the path to your fifties and how that's gonna how that's gonna work and how that's actually gonna do. So they did a really good job of doing that. And I thought it was a really good slice of life. Could be a little bit morbid at times. The title title seems morbid, but it's not really dark as the title makes it seem. It, it's kind of more of um kind of basically make saying like anybody us can die tomorrow and which is true but it's more i would say metaphorically describing the changes that's happening to someone who's in their 40s and things such as life body uh spiritual and things of those nature or friends dying or friends getting cancer and things like that and the uncertainties of life so it's a really good manga i definitely recommend this i'm gonna give this a solid b plus so what did you think for those who are going to read since i could die tomorrow or if i have read since i could die tomorrow volume one comment below let me know what your thoughts are as always if you'd like to see more manga reviews and me 
anime reviews, visit us here at otakosageeks.com. And thank you for all your support. If you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Helps out the channel a lot. And we will catch you on the next one. Later days.